The foursome reel is usually done straight after the eightsome. It's done with two couples facing each other, each couple side by side with a man on the left of his partner. Altogether, there are eight parts to the foursome reel. It's a lot to remember, but with the help of Oppo Plomp, we hope you'll agree it's a lot easier. Do bear with me on that and I'll explain how it works. So the dance begins with a very slow reel of four. That's a figure of eight done by all four of you. And the important thing for this is the ladies begin passing left shoulder across the middle to initiate that first figure of eight. The men follow on now right shoulder and all four of you are basically rotating right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder as you go through. And at the end of this reel of four, the ladies are always going to be back where they started and the men are always back to back in the middle. And they're facing now their O for opposites. So they're not facing their partners, they're facing their O for opposites. They now do this Strasbe setting, which is a distinctive element of the foursome. There's a link on this video to show you how to do it really well. And after 16 beats, we'll then basically go into the second reel of four. It starts right shoulder with the person you were facing. All four of the dancers now doing exactly the same thing. Right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder. Once again, the ladies finish off back where they started. The men are back to back in the middle, this time facing their P for partners. Okay, yet more of the same, Strasbe setting, and then it's into the third and final reel of four. Once again, this is an exact repeat of the first reel of four, and this will finish with the men back to back in the middle, facing their O for opposites. And we have the third and final Strasbe set. And then what you'll notice is there's a sudden change in the music. Everything gets a lot faster, and this marks the point of the dance that we call the helicopter. And all four of the dancers come together in a huddle. Basically, the, the men put their arms underneath the ladies' shoulders and you go round at great speed, hence the helicopter. And at the end of this, it's all much quicker. We're now thinking P for partner. And basically, the couples are going to go and dance with their partners. They're going to be doing multiple setting, multiple clapping. And then they're going to go into something called a tulloch turn. And this was done in the Aitzen. We see how it's done here. I've actually freeze framed this to see it's left hand behind the back and right arms interlinked at the elbow. First of all, we go around clockwise, uh, two or three turns, and then you'll see each of the couples will switch hands and come back the other way, this time right arm behind the back. And then after that, it's now L for ladies. So the ladies now in the middle, the men have a rest, and the ladies do exactly the same thing, setting and clapping, followed by Tulloch turn, first clockwise, and then back anti-clockwise. And next up, it'll be O for opposites. So each of the dancers now with their opposites, more of the same. It's quite nicely repetitive, this. So setting and clapping, and then Tulloch turn, one way, back the other. And next up, it's M for the men. And the men come into the middle, the ladies have a rest momentarily. And the men now are going to do their, they don't do a tulloch turn, they actually just turn right arm to right arm at great speed. And back they come, left arm to left arm. And then we go into the final part of the dance, which is P for partners. And once again, setting, clapping, and the tulloch turn. Okay, it's the foursome reel. It's a lot of fun. I think you'll agree the oppo plomp makes it a lot easier. We're now going to see it done to music. <laughs> 